Hello students let us give a recap to all the terms which we have already studied in this chapter then we go with the exercise but before that you must give a recap to all the angles and all the values that we must understand first point the point is what an exact location on a plane is called the point point gives us location of any point that a point is placed in the plane where a point is placed and this is the notification how we can symbolize a point that is the definition of the point so students next are the line and line segment a straight path on a plane extended in both the directions with no end points is called a line that is it is never ending in both the sides and this is the definition of the line that is straight path straight in both the directions extended in both the directions with no end point is called a line next we have discussed line segment the part of a line that has two end points and thus has a definite length is called a line segment we can measure the length of line segment but we can't measure the length of line because it is never ending in both the sides and the next we have ray a line segment extended indefinitely in one direction is called a ray from one direction it is a point is fixed and another direction is move up to infinity so a line segment extended it is a part of line segment but extended indefinitely in one direction line segment means uh, there is a point which is fixed for the ray but another side is up to infinity so students these are the exact position or location given by the points we notify we can symbolize the point like these points next lines are intersecting and the parallel lines you can see in this slide more about the lines previously we discussed point line line segment and ray now we have intersecting line the line that cross each other are called intersecting lines they make four angles with their intersection they cut each other on a point and that is called intersecting lines next are the parallel lines lines that never cross that do not cut each other on any point do not meet with each other on any point and are always the same distance apart maintaining the same gap they move parallel like the railway track all right or the uh, so many or the uh, so many examples we have like we have given in the videos we have slides like a parallel lines now students understand the next slide that is when two non collinear rays non collinear means which are not in the same line like parallel lines ray join with the common end point common end point actually these are two rays which have one point we can define and, up, and second end is up to infinity now this end is fixed with this ray a b end is fixed and this is the common point if we meet these two points of these two ray that is ray b a and ray b c we get an angle how an angle made with the help of two rays common end point is called vertex of the angle b is the vertex of a b c a b and then if this line is meet with this c then this angle is formed that is the angle angle is made by with the help of two rays in which uh, one 
एंड इज मीट विद ईच अदर दैट इज बी पॉइंट इज मीट विद ईच अदर दैट इज द फिक्सड वर्टेक्स नाउ रे बी ए एंड बी सी आर नॉन कॉलिनियर मीन्स दे आर नॉट इन वन लाइन कोलिनियर मीन्स इन सेम लाइन नाउ रे बी ए एंड बी सी आर कार्ड आर्म्स ऑफ ट्राइंगल आर्म ऑफ एंगल बी ए बी सी ए बी बी वैन मीट विद दिस सी एन एंगल एंड दीज टू आर आर्म्स ऑफ दिस एंगल नाउ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इज फॉर द नेमिंग एन एंगल नेमिंग हाउ वी कैन नेम और नोटिफिकेशन गिव टू द एंगल टू नेम एन एंगल वी नेम एनी पॉइंट ऑन अ रे देन वर्टिक्स नेम ऑफ अ दैट इज वन एंड टू टू रेज आर देयर वी नेम एनी पॉइंट ऑन द रे नेम ए देन फिक्स वर्टिक्स देन बी देन एनी अदर पॉइंट ऑन द अनदर रे दैट इज सी सो एंगल बी इज naming as angle a b c b is at the center of a and c or we can say c b a that is the method to naming an angle we may also name this angle by the single letter that is angle b angle b or angle a b c or angle b a b c b a r exactly similar now next are the interior and exterior of an angle an angle divide the point on the plane into three region that is a plane on which we can draw something and how an angle divide the point how the angles we point out can be defined as on the interior or in the exterior of the angle see first the point lying on the angle that is called on the angle like point a and c all right that is on the ray of the angle next points within the angle for example point r and f are within the angle this is the actually in boundary of this angle a b c the shaded portion you can see na the next is the point outside the angle For example, point X and point P. These are the outside of the angle. Next are the basic angles. Basic three angles. The figure formed by with two rays share the name as end points. So you can see here right angle, an angle that form a square corner. Square corner means a ninety degree square like this in which all sides are. equal so this is actually a 90 degree angle and that is naming as right angle next is the acute angle you know very well these angles an angle less than right angle or less than 90 degree is called acute angle the next one obtuse angle that is an angle greater than 90 degree is called an obtuse angle next related angles are in which the pair of angle we consider the pair of two type two angles considered together named as adjacent angles vertically opposite angle complementary angles supplementary angles and linear pair of angles we have already discussed all these but just to recap the all the aspects we just noted noted down all these angles so next are the first are the adjacent angle understand one more time two angle that have a common vertex and a common ray are called adjacent angles the angles which have common vertex common vertex means this is the common vertex between these two angles and a common ray common ray is bd this is called the common ray you can see from this side these are the adjacent angles so adjacent angles are abd and dbc see the d point where this point this angle first angle end the start of next angle from the same point abd next angle start from db c from the same point next angle start but 
in this figure these two are not the adjacent angle they are different because their points are different they have their common ray between them adjacent angle do not overlap overlap means they are not exactly similar they are adjacent to each other all right like the neighborhood all right which we, which they have the common wall between their houses next are the vertically opposite angles you can see vertically opposite angles are pair of angles because we are talking about the pair of angles formed by two line intersecting at a point when two line intersect we have four point four angles we get the opposite angles are called vertically opposite you can see the two angles with green colors are opposite to each other and the two angle with orange uh, color they are opposite to each other you can say here this is the point p a p c that is a p c green angle this one is equal to b p d that is b p d they are equal vertically opposite angles are always equal similarly a p b a p b and c p d these two orange angles are equal so four angles formed at a point of intersection vertically opposite angles are congruent congruent means equal this is the same math thing congruent or equal point of intersection p is the common vertex of four the angles i thought you understand the uh, Uh, vertically opposite angle this is very important point to be noted next we have complementary angles if the sum of two angle is 90 degree then they are called complementary angle this is the definition of complementary angle this angle is 60 degree and this angle is 30 degree all right the sum of these two angle is equal to 90 degree so these two angles are complementary angles we just add the two angles we get the sum of two angles if sum is 90 degree then the pair of that angles are called complementary angles now students next are the supplementary angles if the sum of two angle is 180 degree then they are called supplementary angles all right one angle is 100 second angle is 80 their sum is 180 so angle pqr and angle abc are called supplementary now students understand the basic difference of the supplementary angle and linear pair of angles two adjacent supplementary angle supplementary means the angle whose sum is 180 degree but adjacent also adjacent means there is a common arm between these two angle we see in a previous slide in which the two angles are just the sum is 180 it is not important that they are drawn together they come together like the adjacent angle but when the property of adjacent angle and supplementary come together that is called the linear pair of angles that is the angles on the same line line are opposite to each other these ray are opposite to each other and there is a common arm like the adjacent angles and their total sum is 180 degree also so when both the conditions are applied on the pair of angles such kind of pair of angles are called linear pair of angles now students next and very important topic are the pair of angles formed by the transversal line a line that intersect two or more lines at different points are is called transversal line when this line cut the pair of parallel line at two different point is called transversal line so here line m and n are parallel lines line l is a transversal line it cut at p and q we have eight angles are formed at all by the transversal 
लाइन लाइन एल इंटरसेक्ट द लाइन एम एन एन एट द पॉइंट पी एंड क्यू सो द लाइन एम एन एल आर कॉल्ड पैरल लाइन फोर एंगल्स आर फॉर्म एट द पॉइंट पी अनदर फोर एट द पॉइंट क्यू बाय द ट्रांसवर्सल लाइन नेक्स्ट द एंगल मेड बाय द ट्रांसवर्सल लाइन कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल alternate angle and the interior angles now see the corresponding angle the angle made by the transversal line now when two parallel line cut by the transversal line then corresponding angles are formed all right these are the parallel line and this is the transversal line see the corresponding angle with the similar color two are with green colors these are corresponding the angles with the pink color are corresponding angle with the blue color are corresponding angles with the red color are corresponding angles and these angles are always equal like gpb and pqe you can see gpb this is and pqe second one so these two angles are corresponding angles similarly other pairs so these are called the corresponding angles four pair of corresponding angles are formed corresponding angles are congruent or we can say equal next are the alternate angles you can see alternate angle are formed on the opposite side of the transversal and at different intersection point these are different intersection point p and q the blue angles you can see here these are called alternate on the opposite sides of these two points that is angle b p q b p q and angle d q p these pink are the alternate angles so two pair of alternate angle are formed pair of alternate angles are congruent congruent means they are equal corresponding angles are equal as well as alternate angles are equal now next are the interior angles the angles made in the interior of these two lines are called interior angle and one more property the angle lie in the area between two parallel lines are cut by the transversal are called interior that is in between these lines and outside these lines are exterior angle now see the angle which are alternate are equal 60 degree 60 degree but the angles on the same side of the interior have addition 180 degree you must remember this that angle p b p q e q p that is b p q and e q p are total is 180 degree because these angles are equal na opposite angles alternate angles therefore their total sum is a, like the pair of linear pair therefore their sum is always 180 degree similarly we can say by the interior angle on the same side are of 180 degree the measure of interior angle add up to 180 degree that is the pair of interior angle on the same side is called our total sum is equal to 180 degree that is of the transversal line so students these are all about the properties of the angles start from the point and end up to all the interior exterior related to transversal line you go through all the slides of this ppt understand all the slide one two time then we uh, start with our next exercise and few more questions which are left with the exercise 5.1